story today, there is a bit of hiding. Someone thinks they can hide from God. We know you can't do that. But we are going to play around, oh, a couple of rounds of hide and seek. We're going to have three rounds. You have to close your eyes, no peeking, and you have to figure out where I am hiding. Okay, you'll have 10 seconds to guess where I am. Um, and if you get right, well done. It's going to be three rounds. Round one, no peeking. Let's go. Did you find me? Ready for round two? How did you go? You ready for round three? I hope you did well. <laughs> now it's time for our story. Jonah is one of God's people and God told him to go. Go and tell the people of Nineveh, if they don't live my way, there will be consequences. And so Jonah went the other way. He didn't want to deliver the message, so he ran from God. He jumped on a boat heading for the other direction. But you can't run from God. God sent a storm and everyone on the ship thought that they would die. Jonah knew the storm was because he thought he could run from God. So Jonah jumped overboard to stop the storm. Jonah sank further and further down. But God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah. Jonah was in the fish's belly for three days. Jonah prayed to God and the fish vomited Jonah onto the shore. Then Jonah went to Nineveh. So we just heard the story about Jonah and how God told him to go. Now Jonah thought he could run away from God, but we know that you can't run away from God. And when he was inside the whale, he prayed this prayer. I'm gonna read a little bit of it out for us. This is from Jonah chapter two. And it says, at the beginning, he says, When I was in trouble, Lord, I prayed to you and you listened to me. Then he said, I was almost drowned by the swelling waters that surrounded me. I had sunk down and I knew I'd be a prisoner forever. But when my life was slipping away, I remembered you in your holy temple and you heard my prayer. He goes on and he says, With shouts of praise, I will offer a sacrifice to you, my Lord. I will keep my promise because you are the one with the power to save. And God chose to save Jonah in that moment. The fish vomited out Jonah onto the shore. And you would think that after God has told Jonah to go, and he ran away the other way, and after God saved Jonah from the big fish, that actually Jonah would start to follow God. But in the rest of Jonah, we see that even though he starts to to do what God says. His heart is not following God. He gets angry at him. He says, let me die, I'd be better off dead. And he gets angry at God. Jonah's heart didn't turn to follow God, even though his prayer sounded like it did. His words didn't match his actions or his heart. And so that's what I want you to think about is, are your words matching your actions and are they matching your heart? If you say you love Jesus, do you actually love him in your heart? And are you showing it that in the way that you live? We don't want to be like Jonah who says one thing but does another. We want to actually do what we will say. So I'm going to pray for us that we would do what we say. All right. Dear God, thank you for the example of Jonah. Thanks that we can see how he didn't match his words and his actions and his heart. And God, I pray that we would learn from that and that we wouldn't be like him that we would say that we love you and that we would really love you in our hearts, that we would really follow you with our actions.
God, I pray that our words and our actions would match up. Amen. So we just learned about our story of Jonah and it's not a great game to play. Let's go fish because he went in a fish. So the way that you play Go Fish is that you deal out each person seven cards. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. You put the rest of them in the middle. You hold up your cards so that only you can see them. Can you see them, Megan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll hold up my cards so that only I can see them. And I'm going to ask for a card and the aim is to get all matching numbers but maybe you use your character cards for like memory or like fruit card whatever cards you've got at home it doesn't have to be numbers but you have to get two or four matching we're going to be tricky we're going to do four matching four matching okay so i'm going to say megan do you have a 10 no i do not have a 10 go fish oh and if she says go fish i'm going to pick up one and put it in my hand and then it's megan's go um caitlin do you have a queen no, go oh. fish. So you get that one. And I say, Megan, do you have a king? Yes. <gasps> I'll, get king. I'll get it out for you. Thank you. And then I get to go again. Oh. And then you keep going and going and going until you have collected, whoever has collected the most sets wins. If you want to be real tricky, if you think you're real smart, you could even ask for like, do you have a red king? Or a black king, or a red heart, a, uh, a red ten, or a black ten. So that's how you play Go Fish, and whoever has the most sets at the end wins. But we are going to do a craft. I'm really excited about this. I've even prepared for it already. So we've got Jonah in the big fish. So get a piece of paper and draw a big fish. Make sure that in your big fish, You've got room for Jonah to hang out, okay? Don't make it a small fish. Make it a big fish. Draw some eyes and a mouth. So there's my big fish, alrighty? And this is where Jonah's gonna hang out. What you're gonna do next is you'll cut that part out. Now, you guys are primary, so hopefully I can trust you with scissors. But if you need to ask your mum and dad, that's okay. You wanna fold it a little bit in the middle and do a little snip and then cut a big circle out so that you'll be able to see what is in the fish's belly, okay? There you go. So that's what it should look like, fish with a belly that you can put your hand in. Alrighty. Then I want you to draw on a bit of paper, maybe the scrap middle bit or maybe a new piece, Jonah. Alrighty, draw Jonah with some hair and draw some other things that you might think that you see in a fish's belly. So I was prepared and I've already drawn some of those things. I drew, oh I wonder if you can see many of them. I drew a Jonah praying. I drew a fish. Oh, I thought you might see a fish in there. I drew a starfish. Stay little. I drew a boot. I thought you might see a shoe in there. I drew a crab. And I drew an anchor. Alrighty. So draw some things that you think you'd find in a fish's belly and get a Ziploc bag of some sort. Maybe a plastic bag. Because you're going to put all of those things inside. You might put other things that are not fishes. You might put, I don't know, maybe there's a table and chairs inside of the whale. Or maybe there's just lots of spit and goo. Maybe, maybe he's got a cult. Maybe he's got like a whole family of fishes that live in there. Or he's got other people in there. Who knows? Jonah didn't really tell us what was inside the whale. He just told us what he did. So, put all those things in your Ziploc bag and close it up and what you're going to do with the second bit of cardboard is you'll need to put some sticky tape down and stick your ziplock bag down there so that you can put this on top and that way it looks like it's moving and it's a bit shaky okay so 
stick this down. I'm going to stick it maybe to the to this side because that's the side that the the whale's on. If you don't have sticky tape, that's okay. You could use a stapler or you could use some glue or blue tack. You have to be creative if you don't have this stuff at home. That's okay. Come up with a plan. Stick it down and then stick your other one on top. Oh, I didn't think about how to do that. I'll stick it on the edges. Stick it together. It'd be easier if you had glue for this, I think. But this way I don't have to wait for it to dry. Stick it down and you can colour in your fish or you could write some words on your fish. You could write something that you learnt from this story. Maybe you learnt that God saves his people. Look. See, look. Now he shakes. Jonah, he's praying on his back. Oh, now he's standing upright. You can move them around. There's different things in and out. That's so fun. Maybe you could write that you learn that God saves people. Maybe you could write that you don't want to be like Jonah because his words didn't match up with what his actions were. Or maybe you could even write whereabouts in the Bible this is from. It's from the book of Jonah. I'm going to write down that God saves us. Because God didn't just save Jonah, he saved us too. So, have fun with your Jonah craft. I'd love to see how they turn out.